Hello everyone, Sinistarad here, and we're back with another part of The Invincible. In the first part, we explore the mystery of Regis III, why we're here, what happened to our crew, and what is up with the planet period. I don't see these metal structures anywhere. The detector's measurement is very clear. I'm going straight on. No crossroads? Branches? Not yet. Just one thick, tangled vein. We woke up with amnesia. We had no idea what was going on. We stumbled our way back to the camp and our crewmates are in some kind of stupor. They don't really seem to remember a whole lot. Now, having sent back our crewmates to the ship, the Dragonfly, we're trying to find our last crewmate, Dr. Gorski. Huh. I guess I found the first point. You guess? We have to be sure, Doctor. Well, I'm at the first clear branching of these structures, such as reported by Dr. Gorski. All right, what happened next? As you can see, we are now following metal structures in the ground, something that he, in fact, was trying to he uncover the, the mystery the of. Right. So now we will pick up from there and see what we find. Another thing he reported was a massive vertical structure. Branch underground, massive vertical exhibit, it protrudes above the surface. Water tank underground structures, the biggest one yet. Inside hill, 155, 150 meters flagged. Visible from point four, azimuth 350, distance 200. I'm guessing that's the one over here. Guess we'll follow this one. Wow, these stretch on for, for so long. What even are these? Seems to go up. Status? Nothing's changed, Astrocator. Understood. Okay, hop up here. <laughs> we can see the structure going up through this mountain almost. I can see the landmark in the distance. Three, two, one. The land is departing. Yes, they're on their way. Perfect. <laughs> so RT has transported Dr. Crowther. Affirmative. He's in the lander. Perfect. Okay. However, <laughs> if the robot didn't find him in the tent. What? what was that? The doctor was already some distance from the camp. I think he was following you, Yasta. Sir, why didn't you say anything? The Androbot located him quickly enough, and I thought it was pointless to worry you. Oh, thank goodness he's safe now. Oh, there are the upper spires. What even are ah, these things? I've reached the top. The doctor discovered something new from here. Something he called bushes. Huh. bushes. I've heard that term before. In their conversations between Kovil and Gorski. No, Jasna. You're the one who reported it to me. Right after you landed. Seriously? Well, I... Really? I... I don't see anything like it now, sir. I've gone over everything in that area. And he went... off in another direction. Wait. Koval noted down the parameters. Azimuth 350. A distance 200 meters. Copy that. I'm sending the probe. Lava, looks like. Got it! Oh! I what see the bushes. Those? And the doctor? Um, hard to tell. Visibility is poor. Huh. It's gonna be harder than before. I don't know how the doctor... But when it comes to finding a safe route, there won't be a problem. But you'll have to get there on your own two feet. I suppose a probe will carry out the first task. It's capable, yes? Of course. I set the environment analysis mode. The probe will calculate the best route between your location and your destination. It'll guide you along the defined path. The calculations will only take a moment. Hmm. 
This is so strange. What is going on? Hi, B. Lead the way. All right, following B. I must say, it's a clever device, this probe of ours. Hey, can it fly for this long? Yes. Longer than you can stand on your feet. Lovely. <laughs> Sounds like the perfect research unit. Maybe even better than a human. Well, let's not exaggerate. Of course, I wasn't being serious. However helpful they may be, they're still just tools in the hand of man. Often faulty. Still, as we're walking, there's still just more and more of nothing at all. Oh, we have a problem. Something serious? I already mentioned the faulty machines, right? Well, the route determined by the algorithm goes over a chasm. I can repeat the command. No, no. I'll go around. Uh, unfortunately, this is an outdated model. Mm -hmm. Such mistakes are inevitable. But the perception module itself has already been greatly improved. Its accuracy increases exponentially. Exponentially? <laughs> Can you imagine us, protonaceous creatures, developing so quickly, sir? No, not in the course of evolution. You can't mm. perfect a person like that. That's right, no, you, you can't. We wait thousands of years for visible changes. Oh, have you started to fear for your position? Damn. Maybe they can be improved rapidly, but these are only selected modules. Algorithms. There's still a long way to go to develop an artificial brain that would even slightly reflect the complexity of the human one. Yes, we probably won't live to see that. Probably, probably not. not. Besides, no intelligent machine would take this job. <laughs> Shh, Astrogator, can you hear that? Uh, what am I supposed to be hearing? That's the point. Nothing. Silence. We're talking about robots, and Dr. Gorski still hasn't spoken on the channel. Well, I don't know. He must be a long way from here. If he's even still alive. Chasm down below. To the impact site. Geysers. Geothermic activity. I am in love with the soundtrack. It is so well done. So well done. In fact, it's going to be very Stay hard for me to edit well, this and run any really. killing points. Okay. At least not in the last five seconds, huh? Right. What are these? Thank you. What are these fractals they're giving off? They're popping up at the viewfinder is almost metal. These bushes are... Kind of weird. You better stay away, Doctor. I'd like a brief description. Just keep a distance. Allow me to use a language I would use to describe living forms, sir. Of course. So they look like pituitary, brush like formations. Yeah. They grow out of cracks in the bare rock. They're high, more or less, from one to several meters they can be singular though in some locations they create a uniform thicket that covers the walls of the ravine in a rusty brush like layer that's how it looks to put it briefly would yes. you also venture to guess their significance some function purpose I don't even know it could be defense could be energy harvesting it could be Colonial system. I'm staying on the topic of biological analogies, which in itself is already a major scientific distortion. Yeah. Yes, yes, I understand. These are not real plants. But no, if they, they were plants, not. those protruding parts climbing up, they would serve to obtain energy, mainly solar. But the flakes giving off seem to almost be like they're colonizing the world. Sending off flakes of seeds, almost like a synthetic organism of some kind that mimics natural organic. Wonder if they're made up of nanobot type things. Small 
artificial creations mimicking biological life. Astrogator, Gorski is not here. I'm afraid he continued to explore. And if he went where I think he did, he might have lost contact with the camp as well as Dragonfly. So we will most likely lose contact too. Most likely. Uh, possibly. Well, there's only one way to be certain. He went underground it's into your the decision, tunnels. sir. Please continue your search. We have to find it. You may lose another crew member. If you think so, turn back now. Uh, no, I won't. I can't leave him. It's just... I'm concerned. It's understandable. We're full of Okay, we made our choice. In we go. We may not come back at all, but... That curiosity, that, that uh... The line's breaking up, but I understood. I'll let you know, sir, when I come out of the tunnel. So strange. Oh. Another flashback sequence, or what? Us landing, okay. Maybe that's why it went down. We lost contact with the rest of the crew and we were sent down to figure out what happened. Why we wound up where we did is still so confusing. Why did we wander off in the first place? What was the point? Why did we split up? Why are we there in the first place? Hopper has landed. I repeat, and we've landed. Hopper has landed. Astrogator, can you hear me? Any side effects? Landing wasn't too hard on you. All good. Spine still in one piece. No signs of overstrain. Not even shortness of breath. Perfect. Hopefully the we have our equipment. Goes just as so we landed a distance away from from the encampment. I'm going outside. I have another. We have beetle here. Sir, something's wrong. What is it? The hatch is half open. Did they report hydraulics failure? How should I know? You were the last person in contact with the crew, Doctor. Right. Oh, wow. They I'm definitely inside. had some kind of magnetic interference. And Everything's burnt up. For now, we have to assume that we are left with only one lander. Is it that bad? You don't need to be a technician to see that Beetle's lost its buzz. Uh, that's unfortunate. I'm taking Hopper out Bone of here. Circuits, I'll send burn it directly panel, to the camp as soon as we find a suitable landing insulation. zone. Okay, so we've landed in order to actually find the crew. So we lost contact. Oh, it's the ocean. Our job was to sent down to find them, to figure out what the hell is going on, why did we lose contact, what's going on on the surface of Regis 3. So we landed near the ocean. Beautiful view. You were right, Cobble. It's beautiful here. All this water and not any sign of any kind of biological life. I mean, you'd think f some kind of flora, some kind of fauna would develop on this planet, but there's nothing. And as I said, there's no indication this soil shouldn't be capable of supporting life. This is where they searched the ocean's biocenosis. Meaning... Oh, where they called that fish, right? Yeah. Okay, so we have fish. They stopped here first, then walked mm. along the coastline northward. Correct. But I think you might consider taking a shortcut towards the east, straight to the camp. You got it. Copy that. Heading east. Huh. Trash left behind. They stopped for a break. How do you know? Are there any signs of the crew? a cigarette bud and a pack. Someone was smoking here. So, they didn't give a damn about the regulations. Disrupting the ecosystem. No, that's not the point. I understand you want to minimize the effects of our interference here, Doctor. Mm -hmm. But the mission's safety is at stake. I don't think I have to explain to you the dangers of igniting a dusty atmosphere. Preserving the integrity of Regis 3's already extinct ecosystem is not a priority in this scenario. Negligible, actually. 
security procedures exist for humans. The rule of integrity is for the sake of everything alien to us. That we is should true. place one above the other. You say, yes. The mission and the safety of our people have the highest priority. Always. <laughs> Always? Are we really that self-righteous? Of course, Doctor. We must be the most important to ourselves. And they must be the most important to themselves, whoever they will be. In the end, the strongest will survive. Isn't that how evolution works? Not in a biological sense, Astrogator. Besides, I'm not convinced if we should interfere with everything alien. Doctor, interference is at the heart of human nature. Man is it? would still be a monkey if he'd only looked at trees instead of cutting them down. Yes, hmm. we have a nasty nature. I can't argue with that. How's our place of origin, though? This is a planet we have no business being on. And we have no real right to interfere with any of the natural ecosystem, extinct or not. Who knows the dire consequences to that for us and for the planet itself. Okay, continue marching on towards the camp. Oh, here are the bushes we've seen earlier. structure it looks like some spiky metal growths artificial plants is spontaneous growth possible with this type of structure no. i've never seen anything like this i wish i had time to run some tests when the situation is stabilized we will take samples i promise so bizarre Ooh. nauseous Suddenly. That's not it. I feel darkness. You feel darkness? What does that mean? Okay, what does that mean though? I feel darkness. I feel darkness. It's like you feel some kind of presence on the planet. Oh, oh no. Oh. So it landed for the sole purpose of finding everyone else. As they are no longer responding. So now we're down with B and just ourselves. Searching for Gorski in this dimly lit cavern. With these bizarre metal structures. And an omnipresent feeling of darkness. According to Yasna. Breathe! What's going on, sir? Astrogator. Dr. Yasna, I tried to resuscitate him, but... No, please. Koval? Dr. Krauter. How? There was nothing wrong with him. Hypervolemic shock. He bled out during the flight. What? I still don't understand. How? He wasn't hurt. His injuries must have occurred later. I found him like this when I entered Hopper. I'm sorry. It's on me. It's, it's my fault. No, Doctor. As Commander, I take full responsibility. But it was me that left him. On my order. You're too hard on yourself, as usual. If only I... Stop it, really. Please, stop. If is a very cruel word. You don't deserve its torment. So Krauta is gone, died from some kind of injury that was maybe sustained later, and now he's dead. Seems like Kaval is still alright. But it still leaves the question on where exactly is Gorski? 
Why did he venture so far out and what caused everyone to... Whoa. Guess I know where Gorska was going. Coming here. I confirm. Gorski was here. here. His rope is still hanging from the slope. That's a good sign. Since he left it, he intends to come back this way. <sighs> Why hasn't he yet? That's a fantastic question. Why hasn't he come back yet? I'm going down after him. <sighs> Tell me one thing, sir. What did you do with Crompton's body? I placed him in a quiet chamber. Are you going to use a grave tap? Yes. Whoa, whoa. Just that report. One sec. Close. Oh, I'm at the end of the rope. Isn't that good? Not at all. What do you mean? I'm stuck. I'm hanging with all my weight on the rope, away from the wall. There's still a fair few meters left to the ground. Oh, this isn't good. Using just my hands, strapped with all this extra weight. No, not a chance. What if you sway? I can just jump off. I, I don't want to advise that. A substantial fall on unsteady ground. This is hardly a maneuver that I would describe as safe. So let's take a moment to analyze the situation. I'm thinking if Gorski went down this way and didn't break anything. Yeah, we don't know that, yes. Yeah, we he don't. Keep going even with injuries. All right, so do you have another idea? Oh, will I be hanging like this until the end of time itself? There is a certain possibility. Or rather uncertain, but maybe it's worth trying. Okay. I'm listening. Can you see the probe? Yeah. Yes. It's flying near me. Good. If I instructed it to fly as close as possible to you, you could grab onto it. Would it be able to support my weight? Are you sure it will hold me? That I cannot guarantee. Well, we're falling either way. All right. Let's give it a try. I'm entering the instruction. You must guide me. What can I say? <laughs> Is the you could say so. What the hell was that? <sighs> I fell from a lower height. It was a soft landing, though. <clears throat> That's a little bit, looks a little bit wonky, but all right. Okay, so we're down, and how we're getting back up, I have no idea. Uncharted territory. Find Dr. Gorski. Okay. Well, he was certainly interested in, uh, whatever this is. Wow, holy shit. It's everywhere. We had our last contact with Regis a few minutes after noon. Even then, Dr. Gorski was walking alone. Communications blew up shortly before he got here. What is here. this place? It makes my skin crawl. It's all made up of these structures. Except they don't look like creations of nature anymore. Maybe that's why Dr. Gorski, not to mention the Alliance. Well, if we're looking for something on this planet, this could be it. These structures form entire multi-story complexes. They look like a city. Are you saying that... No, no. There's no point in jumping to conclusions yet. What is this place? Clearance of some kind over there. We have a bridge. Dr. Gorski set up the flags. So he was Sir, here. He kept going, despite the lack of communication with the rest. You'd have to see it with your own eyes, sir. Are you receiving a signal? What signal? From Dr. Gorski. No, no. Why are you asking? Has it ripped up. He tried to open up a connection. Set up a transmitter. There's nothing on the comms. But I'll check the record history. Please give me a moment. 
<sighs> Left or right? All right. I'll squeeze through the passage. Holy shit. Two more hours. Huh? Oh, wow. That's all Gorski has left of oxygen, at best. And at worst? He's just finishing it up. Though it all depends on his activity. If I remember correctly, there is a risk of methane poisoning. That's right. According to Dr. Crowter, negative symptoms can appear after an hour. That's Maybe after good. a few hours. I think you'll find Gorski by then. I hope Let's so. Hope so. So we have this massive structure of some kind. These that just doesn't make sense. Don't have a clear division into functions. Like they're just random. They're huge, complicated, and uniform at the same time. Do you have any idea where all this could have come from? I'm aware without tests you can't do much. But let's say on first inspection. It's hard for me to imagine that any biological forms could survive. Like this has to be expanding on itself. The interiors of these structures are filled to the brim with wires and rods. So maybe this metal builds up somehow by itself. Oh. You've already said something similar before. Has me of that someone needs his blame. Yes. Right. A sprawling metropolis that replicates on its own. I see the probe. All right. Let's continue onward then. Handy dandy B. Whoa. It, it's a bit like Pando. It's what? I have no idea what you're talking about, Doctor. A, a colony of populous tremoloids. American Aspen. The new trees grow not from seeds, but from root suckers of old trees. As a result, wow. it's one giant organism, thousands of years old. So they're all in a dead metal forest. Huh, that does sound bizarre. Though so maybe. A dead metal forest, that is. Strange to think about. Is it living or is it dead? Been recorded after all. Okay. But there are plenty of errors in the transmission header. It's hard to say whether this is a message from Gorski. Gorski to base. I repeat, this is Gorski. Base, come in. No doubt, it's him. Well, let's keep listening. But as soon as you report anything, Doctor, I'll stop the recording. See the relay up close. Looks broken. Such damage could be caused by a local meteorological phenomenon. A it severe thunderstorm, lethal, and electrometeors. So the weather is to blame for all of this. Well, I, I can't think of a better explanation at the moment. Abandoned Maybe let's go back to the recording. Not a trace of electric currents, polarity, not even residual magnetism. Maybe once upon a time, centuries ago, petawatts or exawatts of power flowed this way. You know, to compare with something, it's, it's probably a machine. Some kind of information collective structure. Maybe it was some kind of electronic brain. It makes me think of the Lyrans. A race of extinct sentient beings. Supposedly, they knew about light astrogation before we invented the wheel. Wow. They had to save themselves from the explosion of Nova. They sent ships. The remains of the remains of those ships have been found, ash to a chip glued together. I've seen hypothetical schematics. The structures here remind me of those. Okay, moving on. So, Readings. could be remnants of a dead species? What follows is just a humming noise. Any thoughts, Doctor? Humming so noise. So far, it all leads to one conclusion. 
This is not a place for a man. Nor for any humanoids. Then who is it for? Maybe it's really an alien technology. Those Lyrans. Lyrans. As far as I know, all information about the Lyran civilization is just guesswork. Well, this could be I the remnants of it. Lyrans to be just a myth, so I wouldn't take it too seriously. Well, I think there might be something to it. Considering what we're looking at, I don't have another option. Another theory. I mean, what else would it be? Oh, footprints. And <laughs> there are more traces. This time, handprints. And a drop detector. Why would he what? drop it? Did I hear you right? Yes, sir. You heard correctly. I'm afraid we must be ready for any eventuality. Yeah. Well, that doesn't mean we should assume the worst. I still believe you'll find him, Doctor. We may find him. It's just the state we find him in that concerns me. Footprints over here. I'm gonna drop. That's not good. Oh, fuck. Now, what is it? I took a shortcut. On purpose? Uh, not not really. really. Well. Uh, more of the same stuff. Gorski's things. More traces. Fine. Actions devoid of logic. Back in the camp, you reported Marit's abandoned things. Yeah. A backpack and a journal, yes. And we were starting to abandon this our scene own looks things. looks disturbingly similar. It looks disturbingly similar to what we were doing as well. When we woke up, we had abandoned most of our things. We had to go back and find them. Things that weren't working. So whatever was happening to them was likely happening to us as well. Something's in front of us. Finally! I have his position. Official? Uh, not yet. Gorski, are you here? It's me, Yasna. Still nothing? Yeah. Backpack. I found his backpack. Oh, there he is. I see him. He's lying in a sinkhole. Almost there. Not moving. Well, you are certainly strong. Well, he's breathing at least. Gorski! Gorski! Look at me! His eyes are closed. Is he breathing? He's alive, but barely. Did he react in any way? No reaction. He seems unconscious. Gorski! Come on! Calm down, Doctor. Get him out of there. The probe's already looking for a landing site. Okay. I'm out of here. Whatever okay. structure this is. Let me just... Oh. I'm... I'm pulling him... Out... <sighs> Done. He's out. <sighs> I activated his SOS. You should pick up a transmission with his parameters, sir. Well? No, nothing. The transmitter in the suit must be too weak. Lovely. Should I retrieve his booster from the backpack? No point. Better to set up a relay. We have to do it anyway so that Hopper can land in this maze. Lovely. All right. Have what a now? Have scan of your surroundings. There's yeah. an open area nearby. You have to move Gorski yeah, there. The probe will guide you. But he's not stable. I must share my oxygen with him, Astrogator. You'd need a spare for that. The protocol doesn't provide for connecting two suits at the same time. In that case, I'll give him my tank. Negative. I won't allow it, Yasna. If you faint, the doctor won't carry you. Thank 
the membrane looks intact. What did you say? I see you here. Hold on, Gorski. You are still not here, Doctor. Please repeat. It's nothing, Astrogator. Some static on the line. Well, so he's not suffering from methane poisoning. Yeah, I assume we need to go this way to a clearing. Are Is this it? The open already? Sort of. Yes. Once you set up the transmitter, I should start the seat. That does not seem stable. That's not stable at all. Very neat. There it is. Pulse, heart rate, saturation, almost within the range. Uh, oh boy. Okay. I don't know. Massive earthquake. Everything is shaking. Oh. No, no. Please hold on. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. What in the world is that? I caught the probe. I'm going on what why the sudden what earthquake was that? that is a fantastic question yes no I'm okay to, I, I, I'm underground it's hard to determine my exact location Novik do you copy? Base, come in. I'm sending an SOS. Where the hell are we now? Anyone. Please. Okay. Stay calm. Just... Stay keep calm. it together. Okay, oxygen saturation is still fine. We just need to get... <laughs> the hell to the surface so we can get off this fucking planet. Oh, we are deep in it now. Water reservoir. Of water. Probably unsafe for consumption. I can't imagine with all the I'd rather not risk it. Metal. Meteoric waters. Too deep. No. Too deep. Let's hope it's not fossil. Otherwise, I'll never reach the surface. <sighs> Slippery terrain. Poor visibility. Mm -hmm. Considering all factors, situation hopeless. At least I got flat. Oh, that's good. Oh, come on. Really? <sighs> Gotta be kidding me. Lovely. Of course, the flare is gonna work. Okay, so, to recap, we are on an alien planet. All of our crewmates went insane, doing things we can't even rationalize, abandoning their items. Um, we started to do the same as well before we came to. We traveled back to the camp, found one dead, two insane, one dead upon arrival, um, one missing in action until we found him. Found these massive, sprawling structures of... And, oh, no. poor fall, poor fall. <sighs> That's a deep abyss. Great. Now passage. I can't. I just um, can't. I think the level is loading. Yes, uh, 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 yeah, yeah. I see. Kavol, you came back for me. That's not Kavol. But how? The lander took you. I think we're suffering from methane Call poisoning. On, please, speak to me. I'm so glad to see you, Yasna. That I is not so much to tell you, but we don't have time. We need to get out of here as soon as possible. Easy for you to say. I'm barely conscious. 
There's a pass that Calm down that way. and help me, will you? I wish I could, but then we'd both end up stuck. You have to put yourself together. There's no other way. There is no other way. Try to get up. Get up. Let's go. Stop talking to hallucinations. And whatever There's you so do, for the rescue. don't fall. Eww. There's got to be some way up to the surface. There just can't be nothing. We gotta just find our way out. I can't stand this silence. Uh, what happened to B? Where did he go? Do what? Talk over your fears. There's no shame in being afraid. Don't worry. Uh, I'm not afraid. I'm just, just a little tired. tired, mildly concerned, you know. Oh, don't play the hero. You really don't have to pretend in front of me. I already admire you, you know. I'm proud and rather worried at the same time. What you did for Gorski, well, I wouldn't be able to do that myself. I don't know why I left him my tank. Gorski is dead anyway. I, don't say that. We will return for him. The only hope is that he wakes up. Up there. It probably got him to something at then we'll ask What do you mean? The old man monitors our parameters. <clears throat> he only tells us what he deems fit. You know that, Covel. Uh, yeah, I do. Still, hmm. you did the right thing. Oh, maybe I did. But I was stupid too. A complete failure of reason in an act of futile heroism. Uh, uh, is your equipment operational? Nothing damaged? Only the flares got wet. Come on. <clears throat> okay. Thank goodness. Way See? out. See? You made it. My whining did some good, didn't it? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I kind of did. What the... Do you see this? Holy shit. Well, if you're talking about the Holy deposits shit. and the bones of prehistoric reptiles, then yes. They're further up as well. Finally, we have proof. Millions of years ago, there was life on the surface of Regis III. And somehow it all died. Is it really such good news? Now, for some reason, there's nothing. You know, not even bacteria, bacteria or, or viruses. viruses. I'm starting something. to suspect that someone or something prevented organisms from moving ashore. Perhaps it stopped them from leaving the water. If so, I think it stops them to this day. In other words, it's still here, and it nips all manifestations of life in the bud. Why, Why then have I not met it yet? I have Maybe we have. I'm afraid you have. 